Hi, Ben here from Trout and Fly Fishing, back with another quick take. Today we're going to be taking a look at the all-new Reddington Strike. It's their first ever foray into a Euro Nymph specific series. We're going to tell you how it stacks up right now. If you're enjoying these videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we've got lots of great quick takes coming up soon. So one of the questions you're probably asking yourself is, what makes a Euro Nymphing specific rod? And there's a couple of features on this rod that are a lot different than what you'd find on, say, a Reddington Classic Trout that make this really specifically designed for European style nymphing. These features start here with the fighting butt move on to this reel seat. You'll notice that it's a down-locking reel seat, which is exactly what we like to see on Euro nymphing rods. And what that does is help balance that rod out because you've got a super long rod. And if you want to use your standard lightweight trout reel and have a reasonable balance point, you're going to want that reel sitting as far back on the rod as possible. And that's what that down locker does. Another thing that they've done, which as far as I know, Reddington is the first to actually do this, is to extend this half wells grip. So this grip is at least two inches longer than what you'd expect to see. And the reason they've done that is again, to promote that proper balance point. So you're gripping it further up on the rod, which again pushes more weight towards the back, counterbalancing that long tip. Last but not least, the rod is adorned with these single foot guides that seem to be the guides of choice on European style nymphing rods, even though we're not 100% sure why that is. Now, let's go back and talk about some of these features that are specific to this rod and what we think about them. First off, the real seat here is cool and kind of reminiscent of the old hydrogen, but it's also really tiny. Uh, it looks a little bit strange on this rod, to be honest. The grip, again, functionally a really good idea, but in execution, I find it to be just a little bit too thick around. One thing I do really like is they've gone with some Star Wars style lettering, and I think that's a really nice touch, particularly with a name like Strike. When it comes to how we evaluate Euro nymphing rods, the casting and fishing comes into really two categories. One is how easy it casts, and the other is how sensitive the rod is. And this strike was a weird mix where it really wasn't very sensitive or that easy to cast. And so it's gonna be a really tough one to recommend over any of the higher priced rods. With that said, at the $300 price point, we don't see a lot of rods that are all that great at either casting or sensitivity either. All in all, you get a lot of really good Euro specific features for that $300 price point rod. And we don't see any other rods at the price point or anywhere near it that are really that much better in both sensitivity and casting. For me, I'd probably pick the sensitive rods for sure over the casting rods, because that's gonna help you catch more fish and you'll definitely get better at casting as you become familiar with the rods. I'm Ben, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.